All right, and welcome to another edition of Weather and Climate Chat. First one in two weeks. We did not do one last week because of the Columbus Day holiday, and uh, just it was more my fault than Dr. Davis's fault. Tuesday and Wednesday just didn't work too well for me, but uh, we're back this week. Welcome back, Dr. Davis. Oh, hold on. Your microphone's not on. Sorry about that. Good to be back. But there you are. Now you really are back. Okay. <laughs> so here we are, October 17th. Um, first part of uh, October was um, at or above average uh, temperature-wise, um, and we had some nice cool nights and some crisp fall days. Even some patchy frost. And some patchy frost even. But now we're getting into uh, a rather unseasonably mild stretch. Which doesn't surprise me, uh, being that the way this year has been going, it's like summer wants to get in one more swing before it's finally gone for good. And I think this is probably going to be the last, the final swing for summer uh, that wants to hang on, I should say. Right. We have high pressure pretty much sitting off the mid Atlantic coast. It's going to be pretty much pumping up air from the south. Uh, we do have a weak cold front that swung through uh, last night, now lifting up in the form of a warm front. So mm-hmm. temperatures will be increasing throughout the course of the next uh, 24, 48 hours or so. And we'll see how high the temperatures actually go. Right. Um, a number of, uh, well, a- average for this time of year, according to AccuWeather, should be right around 64 degrees. And we're going to be flirting with temperatures uh, mid-80s. So that's a good 20, even in some senses, 25 degrees above normal. Yeah, we'll be well, well above average at this time of year. Uh, some record temperatures are surely going to be set over the next uh, two, three days or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, all associated with that high pressure and the uh, warm front passing through. Okay. Uh, so uh, how unusual is it to have one of these uh, spells of uh, extremely mild weather in, in fall? Uh, is now, it- now, in October, you do have some variation in temperature. That's to be expected with the transition season of autumn. Mm-hmm. You're going to have these swings in the jet stream every now and then. But of this magnitude, I would say it's fairly uncommon, if not not completely unheard of, but... It's uncommon, though. I'll go with that. Well, let's just remember that in the past uh, the past year, we had 72 degrees on Christmas Day. So <laughs> Yes. And so compare, putting that into perspective, this is not really that. <laughs> and we have seen 80s before yes. in October. It's not completely out of the question. We've also seen really cold temperatures in October. October can go either way. You and I were talking yeah. off the air just about five, six years ago. There was that big snowstorm right around Halloween. Yeah, yeah. That gave us eight, ten inches of snowfall. It's hard to believe that we're in the same time of year that we had a snowstorm a number of years ago, and now we're talking about temperatures in the 80s. So that's pretty pretty crazy. But that's just all the part. Of that. That's just a whole process of uh, you know the change of seasons, the jet stream making some moves, and uh, summer not wanting to give up. And I got done uh, lecturing in class today about uh, the second season, mm-hmm. referring to what meteorologists call the uh, second peak of severe weather. Right. Typically, it's in October where you're going to get more of the severe weather and uh, potential tornadoes, just because the jet stream is reverting to its winter type uh, pattern, which will be further to our south, allowing the colder air to go further southward, typical for the winter time. Right. So just uh, taking a look, comparing three different sources that I like to compare the temperatures this week. Uh, We got uh, uh, AccuWeather wants to give us a 78 today, 84 tomorrow, 83 Wednesday, and then we start a slow step downward uh, Thursday. Um, so AccuWeather is going with the warmest day of the week being tomorrow. I'm not so sure about that. I'm, I was going to think uh, Wednesday. Might I'm be thinking the warm- Wednesday will probably yeah. be the warmer day too. Yeah. Let's see what uh, the Weather Channel thinks. Um, no, they're they're agreeing. They think the warmest day is going to be tomorrow at 82. Weather Channel I've noticed is a little bit a little more uh, muted with this uh, heat spell. They're thinking we get no higher than 82 all week, which I'm not sure I agree with. Yeah, I, I yeah. think the synoptic setup that we currently have with the high pressure to our east and the yeah. uh, developing low pressure in the Great Plains is really going to get the temperatures up a bit, especially if the winds, as they say up there, look at right now southwest 10 miles an hour. That's going to be pretty stiff wind bringing yeah. up that um, warmer air from the southwest. Yeah, I, I did notice that, that the winds are going to be pretty stiff, so maybe it won't feel like the depths of summer, because at least we'll have a nice breeze going there, but it'll still feel pretty toasty. It's still advecting yeah. that warm air northward, yeah. and we'll definitely see the mercury soar for it. Yeah. Let's see what, uh, what the uh, National Weather Service thinks. Um, they're on our side with this one. They think the Wednesday is going to be the, the, the warm day. Not uh, much so, 83, 84. Yeah, 83, 84, so... 
Um, it looks like fog is going to be an issue perhaps every day this week, and that could just be because the temperatures are going to be so warm we're going to be near the dew point, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Overnight, you're going to have clear skies typically with the high-pressure system and calm winds, and temperatures will be cooling off to the dew point, get saturation, you'll get the uh, dew to appear. An interesting little uh, numerical statistic that I heard them mention, I think it was in the National Weather Service forecast discussion, either them or somebody else mentioned it. Some of these low temperatures that we're going to have this week are not too far off of where we should be for highs. So <laughs> that just proves how warm it's <laughs> going to be. That is correct, yeah. yeah. We're looking at uh, lows in the potential 60s there for, yeah what was that tuesday night yeah yeah so and then high sh- average high should only be around 64 so our lows are not going to be that far off from high so we, could we potentially have some record high lows as well which happens it, sometimes. it wouldn't surprise me yeah, that happens given, sometimes uh, the current situation yeah now it does look like we're going to have a, a gradual step toward cooler weather and by sunday potentially even a little below normal tell us what's going to happen there uh, that's when you have this low pressure system that I was talking about earlier in the Great Plains, and its cold front will be swinging through probably by the weekend or so, and that's really going to knock our temperatures back to our seasonal range. Yeah, I mean, earlier this week, the, the GFS was implying some potentially uh, healthy rains on Friday, but right now it's not looking like that's too much of an of an issue. Uh, I heard the National Weather Service mentioning the uh, focused perhaps more on northern and western regions, and I'm seeing what they're talking about here. It looks most like that most of the rain stays just to our west and then kind of, you know, spins around and fizzles as it gets gets to our area. Mm-hmm. So uh, The trough looks pretty amplified by mm-hmm. Sunday, so yeah, be a nice uh, shot of cold air coming down. So it looks like Sunday morning around 7 a.m., if this is correct, uh, some gusty north north winds and Total opposite of what we're experiencing now. <laughs> yeah, the, we'll be back to our back to normal normal selves. Back to normal, and then uh, the l- rest of October looks fairly average. Maybe we might even sneak a little bit above average again next week. You know, it just uh, it just seems to be the trend. The you know, bo- above average, and we pretty much expected this. Yeah, yeah, that's to be expected. The Climate Prediction Center still has us for above average temperatures for October, November, and into December. Yeah, let's see where we're what what it's thinking for November now. Um, yeah, this this would be certain. Yeah, it look, looks like a second week of November, maybe some above average temperatures. You know, probably, probably long gone are the 80s and 70s by that point, hopefully. But yeah, still, I would say so. Uh, Thanksgiving, they're they're still sticking with that chance of precipitation on Thanksgiving. Took the ice out. <laughs> yeah, took the ice out though, so that's good. <laughs> we'll see. And I, I didn't bring it in today because I don't want to bore you with that every week. But I am keeping track of you know the ninety day forecast from April from August and. And I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that they really tanked on this. It's one. over. <laughs> it, I don't even know why I'm bothering it at this point. I, I it's, it's just you know whatever. <laughs> but I'm doing it just just for our non scientific experiment, just for fun. But yeah, it's it's not doing so good. So maybe if I were them, maybe I would reevaluate the need to have a 90-day four. I can see having temperatures maybe up there as a, as a trend, but when you start saying it's going to uh, be a little bit of ice, you know, 70 days from now, that's probably not responsible. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be quite difficult to nail that with some accuracy. So October-wise, I saw you post some statistics this morning. October, uh, of course, September was like one of the all-time warmest Septembers uh, or pretty close to that. October, not quite as ridiculously warm, but still leaning as one of our warmer Octobers. Yeah, we're about three degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the monthly average so Mm -hmm. far, and we're only 17 days into October. So there's still time for us to go either way, whether it be up or down. Yeah. So the trend is that we could be seeing a top 15 warmest October now, but then again, there's still a lot of uncertainty to be had, especially in this transitional season taking this from a climate perspective does this concern you at all that we're having all these unseasonably warm months or is this just uh you know normal variations for this time of year i think given the magnitude of the warmth that we're actually seeing and the frequency at which this is occurring then this is somewhat alarming to Mm -hmm. me that this could be more of a trend that we're seeing where we're stacking the deck more and more favoring warmer months even into the cooler autumn and potentially even the winters. Right. Um, how are we looking for leaf color? I know up in Schuylkill County, where I live, we're seeing some nice leaf color. Uh, I 
but I, I saw someone, and again, I'm not sure where I read this. I read so many different sources, I forget that it could almost be uh, the nights could almost be too warm this week, and that could tend to mute colors a little bit because colors like you know warm, warm, generally mild days, but cool nights. But mm-hmm. this week we're not even going to get that cool at night. Yeah, I don't know how much of the color would be affected by that personally, but. I know there are some patches of foliage around the area. Mm-hmm. I don't think we've reached our peak yet. No, peak is not quite. I, I think it's getting close where I live because when I drove in this morning, it was pretty nice. But then just going over that mountain, you see the difference down here. It's really not that colorful yet. But on obvi- campus, there are some yeah. patches of color. Obviously, the, if you want to see color now, Poconos is where it's at. Pretty oh, yes, much. definitely. Poconos. That direction. And uh, up in New England, Vermont, they're already done. They're already past peak. That's right. Uh, it, you know, times move on quickly up there, and they're they're getting into their, their colder months. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be warm this week, but we do cool back, uh, you know, after this week and then get into a slightly cooler pattern next week. That looks right. So we'll see how that goes. All right, Dr. Davis, I know you're a busy man this week. We'll, we'll let you go, and uh, thanks for joining us here. And uh, follow us at Monsoon Mike's Weather Headquarters and Dr. Michael Davis's weather forecasts, correct? That's right. All right. You have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. Sounds good.